Good morning guys from Da Nang in Vietnam. In today's vlog, I want to show you around, but also I want to talk to you about a few things. So first of all, I will show you quickly my room where I'm staying. Second, we are gonna go rent a motorbike for these days here in Da Nang. Then we're gonna explore the city around. We're gonna see the famous bridges. We're going to the Lady Buddha. But also I want to tell you about the visa in Vietnam because there are some big news and they're actually good news. Of course, I will also show you the beach, the nightlife and so much more. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. This one is called Apec Park. It's right in the center of Da Nang and it's a nice park. As you can see here, you can just walk around and hang out. We are next to the river. There is the famous Dragon Bridge over there. So it's a, it's a nice spot. made it to room 1906 on the 19th floor here at the Hilton Garden Inn and let's check out this one wow that's insane bro Alright guys, I just left my room and I'm uh, having a beautiful walk here on the beach in Da Nang. I'm actually going to a motorbike rental place. I see they have some nice scooters and also motorbikes. They have many good reviews, so let's go there and uh, let's rent a scooter for uh, the week I'm gonna spend here in uh, Da Nang. Oh, it's like a fisherman. Those are the typical Vietnamese boats. I was talking with the GM of the Hilton Garden Inn, which just opened one month and a half ago. And he also told me that the construction was stopped because of COVID. And then after COVID, they resume it. And now they finish it and they open the building. And I feel all those buildings are experiencing the same thing. You can definitely see the construction moving on very quickly now that uh, everything came back to normal. Even there, you have two more there. So the place is called Tuan Motorbikes Rental and they have some nice bike man, look at this. And your name? Tuan Motorbike Rental. Ah, this is your name? Yeah. Tuan. Tu Tuan. Yeah. Tuan. Nice to meet you man. I like your uh, Honda Big Bike uh, shirt. <laughs> Alright, let's give some prize. The Honda CB 500 a better bike. We give for the customer $50 per day. $50 per day, yeah. Get the premium. Bra yeah, it looks brand new man. Come with the... Honda XR, yeah. I had this one last year. I did from Ho Chi Minh to Da Nang with this one. $20 per day. $20 per well, day. If the after two, two or three days, we can load probably like 18. All right, yeah. man. That's a good deal. Ah, oh, that's the Yamaha. Yeah. WR. The WR. This is more, a little bit more expensive or same price? Uh, same price. Ah, more gears, no? This one has six gears. Right. Right. For this one, maybe $10 a day. Like, this one, $10 a day. Yeah. That's a good deal. So I'm going to rent the NVX for the week. And then one day, I will get the CB500X to go to do the Haivan Pass and maybe visit Hue. But for the city, the scooter is more than enough. All right, guys, got the scooter in the run. It's time to explore. But you guys have to be very careful to ride here in Vietnam. It's very different from Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries. They have their own style, they have their own rules. It's very common that when they turn, they come into your lane, so be very careful. Can I get one? Yeah, thank you. Oh man, it's good. Fresh orange juice. Thank you. So it's uh, 15,000 dong for the orange juice. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Nice. 
so here we are at the beach in Da Nang and one very good news that everybody was waiting for is the visa news here in Vietnam because for the past two or three years they remove every kind of visa and the only way to stay in Vietnam a little bit longer was only the 30 day e visa so basically every 30 days you have to leave the country and then come back with a new visa which is crazy they remove all the long-term options they don't have any retirement visa and so on but now they are finally bringing back the three months e visa so starting from the 15th of August 2023 you can apply online for the e visa and you can get three months and then if you want to stay more you just leave the country do a visa run and then come back for three more months this is a really good news because I think many more people and many more tourists and many more expat many more digital nomads they will start to come to Vietnam because until now everybody was complaining that you can only stay 30 days so many people were actually avoiding Vietnam if you want to check out this news and you also want to check out the official website where you can apply for the e visa I'll put the link down in the description box man look at this beach is so beautiful it's like quiet very soft sand you have palm tree blue ocean there is such a great atmosphere at the beach here in Da Nang you can chill out here if you want you can have a, like a coconut a beer food it's so relaxing all right, now that we got the scooter, let's go check out the Lady Buddha, which is a very famous and very beautiful Buddhist temple. That's the Lady Buddha temple right there. So it's not that far. And also the ride there is uh, super nice. So let's go. to the lady buddha statue and there is also a pagoda attached to it i was here exactly one year ago so i already made a video here we're just gonna do a quick visit and then we'll continue the i think if you come to danang it's worth it to come up here and visit this place because the view is beautiful also the pagoda and the lady buddha man look at the view from here it's insane Let's continue the exploration of Danang. Man, this is so nice. If you guys continue after the Lady Buddha, just continue the road, you'll end up in this uh, incredible area. It is very quiet. And if you have a scooter or a motorbike, it's so enjoyable just to ride the along the coast and i have to say i never tried this nvx before or irox as they call it in thailand but it's a really great scooter it's 155 cc very powerful and super smooth to ride and very comfortable and also the design and the lines they are pretty cool like very aggressive style let's talk about the weather guys because i was here exactly one year ago in july 2022 and the weather was like this it was like blue sky hot temperature beautiful sun beautiful water i was shocked to find this weather i was like wow arriving from phuket which was the monsoon season in july august is not so nice arriving here in danang i was shocked and here i am again one year later and the weather is exactly the same which is a great thing to know and i was asking around especially to locals and everybody told me yeah during this time of the year the weather is like this it's really beautiful but of course local people also complain that it's very hot and very humid for me it's not really like a big problem i kind of enjoy this hot weather but they told me that the best time to come is basically starting from february march until september and then from september to december it's better to avoid because that's the rainy season and also the monsoon season so you will get a lot of rain it's also very humid but yeah if you get the chance to come around this time like may june july august it's amazing Can I get a bun me here? Today is a bit of a foggy day, it's sunset time and as you can see sunset time it gets really busy by the beach. The Vietnamese people really love to come to the beach at sunset time. You see they play like soccer, beach volley, frisbee they swim so yeah the beach is extremely quiet during the day and then very busy during the evening
Okay, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's a Sunday evening, 8.45 p.m. and in 15 minutes is gonna be the Dragon Show. Chris, he lives here, but it's his first time seeing the Dragon Show, right? I'm playing Taurus, that's right. <laughs> We're gonna be tourists tonight in Da Nang. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I'm going to end the video right here from Da Nang. As always, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Da Nang, if you're planning to come to Da Nang. In the next video, I'm going to rent a motorbike and do a road trip through the Ivan Pass to Hue. So I'm excited to see Hue for the first time. So stay tuned for that video. And that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.